Today's the day we get ready for Dad's solar install. Stay tuned and see how we do it. Well, good morning from the top of the fifth wheel. Uh, today, we're gonna wire the uh, panels in and also uh, secure them down to the roof. So, uh, here we go. Yeah, these ones are the most difficult just because of the of access. Access. <laughs> even though even though we've been working in the shop, it's been difficult back here just because we've got the garage door rail in the way and, and the beams or trusses heading across. But, uh, these two front ones are mounted up. Uh, we got them screwed and glued. Um, we'll finish up the wiring later on once, once we finish up the other four panels. But right now I believe we're gonna start the Move the other panels into, into a position and get them completed. So right now we're just marking the footprint of the solar panel where it's going to sit. And then we'll lift it and put die coil underneath the feet. And then screw them down. And then we do this. Squishy, squishy. Oh, that looks good and messy. Yes. That's a lot of <laughs> Yeah, it is. Close to the end of the tube. Yep. Well, good. We got half the panel done now with one, one tube. tube yeah. So we'll have plenty of decor. Be able to go over and finish off some other stuff. Or, you know, reseal some of the existing stuff. So that's a decor job right there. That's what it's supposed to look like. It's a pretty job, here. You know? This one's prettier. That one's pretty nice too, Dad. Good job. I like that. That works. Well, that's a wrap on screwing, screwing and gluing. <laughs> now we just got to finish up some of the wiring and uh, bring everything into the confiner box and uh, should be just about done. Look at really nice. I think you're going to be pretty happy, Dad. I think so. Yes. Yeah. Change the look of my roof. <laughs> <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> I like that a lot. Alrighty, uh, doing some wiring up here and um, we're pulling all the wires back to the combiner box uh, up here on the roof and I'm just starting now to tie in all the negatives into the negative bus bar. As you can see here, we've got the negative wires coming into the combiner box and they'll all be attached to the bus bar uh, with the negative uh, 6 gauge that goes down to the solar controller. So we're gonna start wiring this up and uh, come back in a minute.
We've got the whole combiner box all tied in. All the positive sides come in this way and all the negative sides come in on this side over here. Um, and then from here that six gauge wire runs all the way down and forward um, to the front bay where the solar controller is. So here's a little closer look. At the combiner box. You can see straight down on the bottom of it is where the six gauge wire comes up and then the 10 gauge wire comes in on each side. So I'm just going to put the cover on now and be done with it. And the cover does have a nice rubber weather seal right here. So we'll seal around these edges real nice. There we go. That's all weather tight. We'll get up here and tighten up these uh, connections here in just a little bit. Well, we're just about finished up here on the roof today. We've got all the panels glued and screwed and wired up. Uh, everything's in the combiner box, got the lid on the combiner box, and we find, we started to uh, wrap and tie all the wires together up here on the roof, but we ran out of uh, tubing, so we're going to continue that tomorrow, but I'll show you what we've done in the meantime. So you can see we got uh, two panels on the passenger side and the rear, and two panels on the driver's side back here as well. These, those two panels are wired together in series parallel. And you can see we got the uh, wire coming up and over to the combiner box for both these guys. So we're minimizing the exposure of the wire to the sunlight and where we are, where the wire is exposed, we're wrapping it with the wire loom to protect it a bit more. Here's a look at the combiner box. With the cover on and all. And forward, you've got two more panels. Offset a little bit because of the uh, TV antenna and the skylight right there. But those, are, those two wires are wired together in series parallel too. So we have six up here total. Uh, everything's looking great. We're going to head down and uh, see what happens downstairs. Okay, after referring to the re, uh, the manual for the PT100, it's telling me that if we're hooked up to a magnum inverter with a remote control, all the programming is done through the remote control that's plugged into the inverter. The magnum remote. So, with that, I'm going to power on, or turn on the uh, solar incoming. And, hey. Open that up. Magnum's turning on. And it's reading the batteries at 13.2 volts. And since we're in the shop, we're not bringing in any uh, anything. No charge coming in. So yeah. So but uh, it seems to be working. Um, nothing's blown up yet. And stand by. All right. I'm. Just about done here. We got to finish up some of uh, the uh, wiring, just kind of tighten up some of the wiring, just to tie everything together and make it look pretty and neat. So um, it's looking pretty dang good. I'm pretty happy with with everything so far. Um, hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to pull this thing out of the shop and get an actual get an actual sunshine test. That'll be nice. Oh, look at that! Look at that pretty cargo bay. I love it. <laughs> it looks nice. It does. Well organized. Got a six, uh, four pack of six volt batteries. PT100 solar controller. We got the Magnum battery monitoring kit. And the shunt is right down there for the BMK. Uh, this is a resettable circuit breaker right there between the Magnum PT100 and the batteries. Down here is a temperature sensor module. This goes into the inverter and um, evaluates the temperature of the batteries and adjusts charging accordingly. Over here is our off-on switch to disconnect the solar array from the PT100. 
So if we have to do any kind of work on the PT100 or the solar system or anything like that, we can de-energize it. Pretty important stuff there. Right here is our big T-fuse, 400 amp T-fuse. There it is, right there, this guy. Big guy right there. That's basically a catastrophic fuse. If something goes on with the batteries or the charging system or something like that, that should blow first. And down here we got a really nice big heavy duty ground bus bar. Um, it's got three eight inch lugs on it. And real nice setup there. Right over here is another off on switch. That's our main off on switch for the inverter and also the 12 volt DC setup. Right now it is in the on position. The other one over here is in the on position as well. And right down here is the Magnum uh, hybrid 3000 watt inverter. With the DC load coming in and the AC load coming in and going out as well. And quite a few networking lines as well. Uh, the BMK, the uh, battery temperature sensor, the solar controller, and then the remote all plug into that stuff right there. Pretty important setup. Once again, there's the look of it in the bay. Took up about two thirds of it. There's still a bit of room over here. And Dad's going to put a shelf over top of the inverter and the batteries. So there'll be a shelf at this height. I'm not sure if he's going all across or if he's going to go down here. Down so a shelf just enclosing the batteries and the inverter. And then. Uh, He'll have a storage back, and I'm sure he'll put vents in them so it'll breathe. <laughs> the inverter does need a little bit of space. We did look at the specs, and it is just over specs right now for a uh, breathing room. And there it is, guys. Looks pretty nice in here. Let's go check out some other wiring. All right, here we are in the uh, pass-through of the fifth wheel. And you can see right here, this is our AC wiring run in the... A loom, wire loom and then goes down to the circuit breaker box and then there's another line that goes actually it goes to the sub panel right right here and then the circuit breaker box is way back behind all those wires we haven't had a chance to yet but we're gonna finish we're gonna finish wiring up the uh the solar wires tomorrow these ones laying across the ground they're gonna go up here. They're gonna go up here in a wire loom as well. We'll put them right through this channel right here in a wire loom. And then we'll be pretty much done in this, this area. And now we'll go inside and take a look at the uh, remote control. So here we are inside. We got them. Got the Magnum remote set right here at the counter, just inside the doorway. I like to have it just inside the door and on a visible wall just so it's easy to see. You don't have to open up a closet or anything like that. Look at that. We're inverting. Drawing seven amps. So that's our uh, setup. 12.5 volts. Pretty nice little job, Dad. Looks good. Yes, it does. If you like this video, click on the thumbs up, and also, please leave comments down below. Alana. As always, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We thank you for watching. Until next time, Pow Hana. Hana.